right, in this video I'm going to show you how to measure and adjust caster and camber on your quad. Now, most original equipment quads actually don't have these adjustments. Uh, this, this Raptor has aftermarket A-arms uh, and that allows for adjustments of both caster and camber. In any case, the tools you're going to need, one is something like that. I actually, turns out I use an app on my cell phone which gives a, a, a angle and uh, that works really pretty well. And you also have to make sure that your tire pressure is equal in all the tires so they're properly inflated and that you're on an even surface. And a couple of either wrenches or ratchets to loosen things up. All right. So first off, what is caster? So caster is basically the tilt of the spindle either forward or back. So the way that you measure that is effectively from uh, the angle from one, the lower ball joint to the upper ball joint. So it would be something like this. And in general, you want that to be angled just a little back, meaning the top ball joint should be angled back slightly from the lower ball joint. And the type of riding that you do will dictate what you want that to be. So the guidelines from... Lone Star are this, so I I use it mostly for motocross, so I'm going to go somewhere between 5 and 7 degrees positive caster, meaning it tilted back by 5 to 7 degrees. Now, the more you're tilted back in general, the more stable it's going to be at high speed, and the more tilted forward it is, it's going to be uh, increase your ability to corner okay um, but within that range if you get you know way off it's going to negatively affect your handling in all circumstances but in any case so f five to seven degrees with the upper ball joint being tilted back with respect to the lower ball joint so that'll give me a little bit of positive caster okay so what is camber so camber is the inward or outward tilt of the upper part of the spindle or wheel with respect to the lower so instead of caster which basically tilts like that this is tilt in or out like that. So um, in general you want the upper part of the wheel in just slightly with respect to the outer part of the wheel. And going back to this chart here, so what we want is one to three, to, well for motocross there's again these other ones here, but for motocross we want one to three degrees of negative camber. So with negative camber, the top part of the wheel is going to be tilted in slightly with respect to the lower part of the wheel. The way to measure that is to take some sort of flat edge seated on the wheel like that. And you can use something like this on, on the tire, but the tire does slightly balloon on the bottom, so just make, make sure it's equidistance from the upper and lower part of the wheel, whatever you use. And then you put that angle finder on there and it should be tilted in just a little bit. Um, that same app on the phone actually works really quite well as well. So that is caster and camber. All right, so I'm just gonna give a little more detail about what camber is and how to understand it and then showing how to actually adjust it on, on this quad. So the way I like to think about it is when you enter a corner, the force on the tire is pushing 
in on the bottom of the tire. Because as you enter the corner on the outside of the quad, the force is going to go in towards the bottom of the tire. So you kind of want to counteract that. So what you actually want is just a little bit of negative camber, which means that the tilt of the bottom of the wheel in relation to the top of the wheel slash tire is out just a little bit like that. So that way when there is force pushing in this way, so force pushing in this way, that helps to counteract that and straighten out the, the wheel and tire so you have as much of the tire in contact with the ground as possible. If, in contrast, you had positive camber like this, you would be forcing, as you enter the corner, the outer wheel, which is going to gain a lot of traction for you to turn, would be actually pushing in like this, so it'd start like this and push in a little bit more like that, and that would decrease your contact patch of the tire with the ground. So not ideal. So we want just a little bit of negative camber. It's not much, but just a couple of degrees. Somewhere between one and three degrees is typically where you want that. And the way to adjust that is to, so on this quad, there are different ways to adjust in different vehicles. But in this case, I would, shorten this ball joint and that would pull the top in. That would give me a little bit more negative camber. If I instead wanted a little less negative camber, then I would make that a little bit longer. All right, so now for just a little additional detail related to caster. So as already described, caster is the tilt of the spindle either forward or backward, okay? And in general, you do not want forward tilt of the spindle. You want it to be slightly back, okay? And just a few degrees typically, so it'll be like this. So the spindle, you know, instead of being straight up and down, will be tilted back slightly. So there are different ways to do this on different vehicles, just like the camber, but on this quad, there are spacers inside of here. Original equipment, there are no spacers. It, it is not adjustable, but these are aftermarket A-arms. So they have, right now I have two spacers in front and two spacers in back. If I wanted a little bit more positive caster, I would put more spacers in the front than in the back. That would slightly tilt the spindle back and give me more stability at high speeds. Okay, the Everything in life seems to be some sort of give and take, so if you have more stability at high speed, it's a little bit harder to corner, a little bit less responsive with steering. So let's say, in fact, I preferred a little bit better steering and a little less high-speed stability. I would take some of those spacers from the front and move them to the back, which would tilt the top of the spindle forward a little bit, give me less caster. Okay. All right, so everything's put together, adjusted, and tightened in place. And one little note I want to just put out there is of the adjustments we talked about, caster is probably the most difficult to measure because you're basically trying to measure angle from upper and lower ball joint, and it's a little hard to get in there sometimes with other things like you know, brakes and such. So uh, one thing to keep in mind, a lot of these manufacturers like Lone Star they'll actually give you recommendations on how to set that up based on your riding preference. Uh, so in this case, I have a total of four spacers. There's two in front and two in back. And they've actually indicated in, in their guidelines that that is what most riders will want for a balanced feel between stability at high speeds and cornering response. But again, as earlier, if you did want to increase your 
feel or stability at high speeds, you'd increase the positive caster, meaning you'd put all of your, or more or all potentially, of your spacers in front to increase the backward tilt of that spindle.